There are two types of scrap metal, ferrous and non-ferrous. Ferrous scrap is scrap iron and steel that comes mainly from old cars. Non-ferrous scrap metal includes aluminum, copper, lead, and nickel. And the best part is, metals can be recycled indefinitely without losing any of their properties. Each year, North American auto plants build millions of cars. Eventually, they end up here, at a scrap metal recycling facility. It takes about two days to process the raw material, mostly old cars and appliances. Crane and bulldozer operators scan the raw material as they gather and stack it. They're looking for anything they can't process. Propane tanks, glass, or heavy iron that will not shred and that could cause damage to the machinery. An inspector goes into the stockpile to check the material more closely, then signals the crane operator that he can proceed with the next load. The crane's grapple delivers load after load onto a conveyor belt that leads into a shredder. The belt speeds up or slows down according to the weight of the material to feed just the right amount into the shredder. Here's the feed box that contains the shredder laid open. An inspector checks it daily for damage. There's a lot of wear and tear on this machinery. An 1800 kilogram drum grabs the material as it comes off the conveyor and forces it into the shredder. Its giant hammers pound away at the cars, mattresses, and other recyclable items, shredding them into fist-sized chunks. An industrial vacuum sucks out bits of rubber or glass mixed in with the shredded steel. The steel pieces stick to these magnetic drums. Anything else falls through to a conveyor belt below. Here, pickers remove any unwanted material caught on the steel pieces. And the cleaned, shredded steel is ready for shipping to customers like steel mills and foundries. The material the magnetic drums don't collect goes on for more processing. There's precious non-ferrous metal, such as copper or brass, mixed in with the shredded debris. It all goes into a machine called a trommel, where a rotating drum separates the material by size. Any leftover residue is just trash. But before it goes into a landfill, an inspector checks it to make sure no valuable material has slipped through. The material from the trommel is evenly dispersed onto a conveyor that takes it to a machine called an eddy current separator. Inside, a rotating magnetic drum creates a strong magnetic field that repels non-ferrous metals right up and over a barrier into a storage bin. Any material that doesn't make it over the barrier goes through the separator one more time, just in case there's still some valuable non-ferrous metals mixed in. A conveyor belt carries out the worthless residue to a trash heap. A different conveyor belt carries the non-ferrous metal out of the separator and loads it into a bin for sale. It will go to another plant where they'll separate it by type of metal, mainly copper, brass and aluminum. After all that shredding, sifting, and separating, here's what's left of the average used car. Take away the rubber, plastic, and upholstery, and you have some shredded steel, and some valuable non-ferrous metals. That's a lot of useful material, thanks to some efficient recycling.